Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in and clicking on the video and um, subscribing. Um, I really appreciate it. I am um, quite surprised I haven't uploaded for a while any video and I found that I had more subscribers than I've had before like that I had when I last looked because I obviously haven't been uploading for ages and yeah I'm sorry about that there's just there's just a lot going on in my personal life and um yeah things have been really quite difficult over the last few months I am just actually outside at the moment sitting by my fire pit which I bought a couple of weeks ago for me and my daughter really just to have somewhere to sit during the winter where we can roast some marshmallows that something that she really likes to do and just um, a nice way to bond so anyway um, I I have, um, I guess I'll, I'll need to be honest, I haven't been engaging in recovery anymore. I have been feeling as though recovery is something that is not going to come to me in this lifetime. I am always going to be anorexic, is how I feel at the moment, and I know that's not what I, it's not what I hope for myself, and it's not for what um, I know most of you guys would have hoped or expected but um, I failed again and um, I've slipped backwards with my anorexia and I'm not proud of it but I just feel as though well I, I just have to be honest with you guys I'm not gonna just um, you know try and say something that isn't true and I don't know if people are gonna not want to watch here anymore not that I've been able to do a lot lately but um, I could understand that because when I started this YouTube I really thought that I had the best chance of my life at recovering um, but now that I've slipped back with the best chance that I had of my life and the best people and the best support I'm I'm never gonna get that again and I am not interested in doing any of the things that I've done in the past. And um, so yeah, that's kind of that. Um, I don't know where I'll be, but I know that it's not going to be recovery and that there isn't anything that is going to, I don't feel as though there's anything that can help me anymore. Just to be quite honest. Lately I have been wondering about that and just wondering at what point that, you know, I've had this eating disorder since I was 13 and I'm 38 and I sometimes look back and wonder why was I one of the ones that no treatment seemed to help and I have a feeling that you know, way back when I was 13, I, I didn't get the right treatment back then and I sort of wonder now if, because I remember being so defensive and so um, against any help after I had my first um, ever admission to hospital and my first ever psychiatrist, which was, um, yeah, a couple of months after I'd kind of stopped eating and, and when I'd lost weight. And I, went to hospital as a kid and I was 13 years old and I had poor treatment and I had a very very poor psychiatrist um, who was cruel and who was disrespectful and um, never tried to understand me or my situation he was just very much all about getting a feather in his cap and I know how angry that I was back then and how I was treated both in the hospital and by a professional. I also know how bad um, my experiences with other patients who were around the same age, there for the same reason, um, was over the years in hospital and also just in that first in that first admission. And I sometimes just wonder if, if things had gone better then, if I had been able to get 
you know, adequate and sensitive and, um, you know, much better help at that point. Which, you know, there wasn't a lot around around back then. There's a lot more awareness about eating disorders now and what's helpful and what isn't. And I sometimes think, did I just miss the boat? You know, um, is that the reason? Is it because I was made to feel so afraid and so let down by the treatment that was around back then? Is that why all these years I've resisted ever... Um, engaging in it fully or trusting it fully because I feel as though all these years I've never really trusted trusted a professional but and maybe that's that's part of it but they, I mean having said that though I did have some good a couple of good psychologists I didn't have any real good experience with any psychiatrist except for one and over the years I've seen seven of them um, and yeah I mean, every single hospital admission I've had has been completely, completely traumatic. And I feel as though yeah, all of those things kind of made me quite defensive and and um, made me grip on to what my illness sort of gives me more than I might have if, um, if I'd been lucky enough to have the right kind of treatment that I was going to get. You know, this this last time that I tried the whole recovery thing and I don't know but it's crossing my mind lately anyway I don't actually have a lot of time right this minute but I will I will leave it with you if I mean because I know some of you in my audience have had an eating disorder for many many years and I just wonder what you think about that same sort of thing what would have made the difference to you was there some turning point was there some something that that really um, inhibited your being able to recover and uh, what do you think it was you know tell me talk to me about it and maybe I could make a video about it and this video was kind of just a big long ramble about all that but I hope it made sense and um, I really thank you for clicking on it and still being part of my audience and um, I love you guys and please please engage in the comments I really enjoy reading them and um, yep. thanks again and um, hopefully see you soon for another video bye